we did have to move lambs to get cars out of the carport this morning. That along with power outages and property damage. We lost 10 poles this direction and as the storm came through, uh, created a lot of uh, uh, damage down toward West Texas A&M. Kimbrough Memorial Stadium saw some damage to its press box and throughout the field, but the damage extended to neighborhoods as well. But all, all the damage to our trees is, is pretty sad because we've lived out here since 1981 and we've never had this much damage to our property. Residents here say they believe they lost power at about 2 a.m. and still didn't have it restored around noontime. However, XL Energy had trucks out and even working with other companies throughout the panhandle to get power up and running as soon as possible. It's not just five or 10 customers, it may just be one customer on a block. So it's a little more tricky when you have this scatter type of outage. While residents are surprised at the amount of damage this storm produced, many are keeping their spirits high as they wait for power to be restored. Your bathroom, of course, you can't use. Uh, no drinking water, uh, no coffee. That was the worst thing that I've this morning. <laughs> About 3,000 customers affected, between 3,000 and 3,500 customers affected. We're whittling that down right now. Uh, don't know exactly yet how long this is going to take, but we hope to be done today. Jillian Idol, ABC 7 News.